to run, to rejoice, to embrace every moment that comes your way. It's your life, and it's our passion to care for it. Sanford Health. Health lives here. President Trump makes history in his meeting this morning with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. How his step across the border into the north might lead to a new direction in nuclear talks. And it's a kind of family reunion at one business near Yankton. How Cozy's Bar spans two generations of entrepreneurs. Good morning, this is Kelloland On The Go. With all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday morning, we also have an exciting list of boredom busters coming up for you. But first, the Pennington County Sheriff's Office says heat was a factor in their search Saturday for Serenity Denard, the nine-year-old girl who's been missing for nearly five months. Fifteen people took part in the search south of Rapid City. The Sheriff's Office posted that while they put in a lot of sweat into their search, they didn't have any luck in finding Serenity. The Sheriff's Department says the tall grass in the search area is creating new challenges for them. A 68-year-old man was taken to the hospital following a weekend water rescue in northwest Iowa. A passerby spotted the man chest deep in water in the Big Sioux River in southwest Plymouth County last night. The passerby was able to get a rope to the man and other people joined in the rescue effort. The Akron, Iowa Fire Department was able to bring the man to shore. The sheriff's office says the man may have been in the water up to eight hours. President Trump made history this morning as the first sitting U.S. president to physically step foot into North Korea, meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. What was originally supposed to be a brief exchange of pleasantries between Trump and Kim turned into private talks that stretched about 50 minutes. Earlier this weekend, Trump had tweeted out his last-minute invitation to Kim, suggesting the North Korean leader meet him at the border just to shake his hand and say hello. Now, following their meeting, Trump said that sanctions remain on North Korea but he appears to be leaving open the possibility of scaling them back as part of upcoming renewed negotiations over North Korea's nuclear program. Trump also told reporters that he raised the idea of a Kim visit to Washington during their talks. A new generation of entrepreneurs is making an impact in the economy of rural Kelloland. They include Kristen Kozak, owner of Cozy's Bar west of Yankton. The bar's been open for one year, but the business has deep ties to Kozak's family. Her grandfather started the bar back in 1972, but sold it nearly 20 years ago. We'll hear from Kozak about what it's like to have the bar back into the family fold in tonight's Eye on Kelloland at 10. Well, let's find out if we'll be getting any relief from our heat. Here's Chief Meteorologist Jay Trobeck in the Storm Center. Good morning, Jay. Hey, good morning, Perry. Not so much here in the southeastern part of Kelloland. Sioux Falls is under a heat advisory again today, and so is the area in orange there. Until 9 o'clock tonight, it's going to be hot and humid. What's going to take the heat and humidity out of the air is thunderstorms, and so we'll have to keep an eye on the skies later today, mainly this evening and tonight. The area in yellow is where we have a slight risk of severe weather and that includes uh, the possibility of wind and hail pockets of heavy rainfall will also be possible of course that risk does include the Sioux Falls area the chances for rain will continue tonight and even tomorrow the area in yellow again a risk of some severe weather it does include Sioux Falls and the I-29 quarter also heavy rain will be possible we'll have your forecast numbers in just a second Perry all right thank you Jay with well, the Sioux Falls area Humane Society is hosting a kitty carnival with games booths music and food from noon to three admission is free but you're asked to bring a bag of pet food or toys or make a money donation for the care of the shelter animals the Humane Society is located at 3720 East Benson Road. Levitt at the Falls presents musician Galen Lee. Her free performance is at 5 o'clock at the Levitt Shell in downtown Sioux Falls. The Sioux Falls Municipal Band is celebrating its 100th anniversary this summer. The band will perform a free concert at Terrace Park at 8 o'clock tonight. Check out the newly completed Ark of Dreams sculpture that spans the Big Sioux River in downtown Sioux Falls. The Ark is located next to Sharapa Place and is the permanent centerpiece of the Sculpture Walk sculptures that are on display on sidewalks throughout downtown Sioux Falls. Keep your cool in the pool on this warm summer day. The City of Sioux Falls pools and aquatic centers are open for swimmers of all ages. Bring a lawn chair, enjoy live music as part of Sunday in the Vineyard at Wild Prairie Winery in Brandon. 
The hours are from 2 to 5. Admission is free. Sangria Sunday at Straw Bale Winery in Renner features South Dakota wines and live music from 1 to 4. Admission is $5 a person or $10 a car load. The Canaries baseball team takes on the Milwaukee Milkmen at Sioux Falls Stadium. First pitch is at 105. Jay. Perry, another warmer than normal day, especially in the southeastern part of South Dakota. Sioux Falls will get to 94 degrees today. It's going to be muggy as well. Not as warm, not as humid to the north and the west. Highs only the 80s because of a north breeze, and that's a front that could light up thunderstorms this evening into tonight. And there you see a good chance of rain in many parts of the Kelland area. Lows tonight will be in the 70s. Then for tomorrow, more rain or thunderstorms. And we do have a slight risk some of the storms could become severe in the eastern part of Kelloland. Highs only the 70s to the mid 80s, and that's about what we'll have in store the rest of the week. At least a chance of showers or thunder showers each day through Friday. That includes Thursday, which is the 4th of July. A little cooler next week in upper 70s. Aberdeen area, chance of showers or thunder showers each day. Highs in the 80s all week. A little cooler next weekend. For the Pier area, we'll be in the 80s most of the week. A chance of showers or thunder showers each day. Typical summertime stuff cooling down next weekend. And Rapid City also has a chance of showers or thunder showers each day this week. It will be cooler the second half of next week. In fact, starting on Thursday in Rapid City, highs only in the 70s. Perry? Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.